Time, one more time. <laughs> Ramble. Pretty basic. Thank you to Rosetta Stone for sponsoring this episode of Pretty Basic. Oh my gosh. Yay. <laughs> All right. Ready? You can start. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. We have just the girlies here in the episode. Some of your favorite episodes are just the girlies, AKA me, your co-host, Alicia Marie. And me, your other co-host, Remy Cruz. Bring it back bow, to, bow, bow, bow. I was just gonna do something like that. And then I, I, didn't, I didn't know. We're back. I've missed you. I've missed you so much. I've missed sitting here recording with you. I've missed you in person. I've missed your energy. I've missed... I missed everything and I'm just so glad that we were able to um, be friends again. I know we went through some drama because, um, you know, we didn't go to Tokyo together. Well, we technically were there at the same time so and you chose true. not to see me. I did give everybody the, the <laughs> backstory already. First of all, we didn't actually fight. Don't worry. <laughs> but I came on with Cal and I was like, everyone thought that we were like, there was drama, but I explained already that it just, we had to schedule our trip earlier for a scheduling issue. And I was so sad, losing sleep, heartbroken Same. over it. Same. What's funny though, is I talked about it on my vlog channel too, in my first Tokyo vlog. And I, I watched did you, I still got comments being like, why aren't you there with me? I was like, I said it within the first two minutes. It's so funny. <laughs> I like, I don't, I don't, I don't know. I'm like, maybe it was too early on. Maybe like a minute in and they yeah. were like, where's my, or maybe they just like, don't listen. I don't know. I literally was like, wait, I, I I, I said the I whole story. I even included footage. <laughs> <laughs> but um, but it was funny because I did get a lot of questions like that too. So I was like, oh my God, no, but I said it too. If you guys missed it, Alicia and I did though see each other at the airport. I we made did. my way over to her terminal. We were stuck between a thick sheet of glass. I couldn't even hear a word. I couldn't hear you breathe. Same. I was just watching the vlog clip from yesterday though my, on my vlog and I was laughing <laughs> because you could, you just hear me, like I was whispering yeah. because I was embarrassed because we were like, there are people yeah. there. But I'm like, I can't, I can't hear you. I love you so much. <laughs> It was so I need to watch funny. it. it was so oh funny. my god! Um, but the, we've just been traveling so much. Um, so I we, I'm proud of us. We did our best, making sure we never missed a week. I agree. We had a lot going on between Coachella, both of us going to Tokyo, going out of the country, and you guys loved the sibling. Ep I always say that wrong. Sibling, not sibling. Sibling episodes. I had, that one I wouldn't clock you for. Really? Sibling? No. Uh, pink is still the one. Pink. 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 And Remy. Remy. You've changed. You're better at Remy now. Remy. <laughs> that's the way I get that like at least twice a week. Well, Remy. That's, that's my genuine like, like <gasps> holy oh shit. My God. Yes, no, people loved the sibling episodes. The one with you and Ash, I loved the whole religion talk. I think that was so great for you guys to to be able to, cause you guys don't really talk about that stuff, stuff in like real life either, right? Not Sometimes. really. I mean, I actually just talked about it on an episode recently. I don't think it's coming out soon, but mm -hmm. um, I think it's because I, I'm just aware that I don't know what I fully think myself. So I feel weird saying like, oh, this is exactly what I think. And then like a week later changing my mind. And then I'm like, well, you said, there was a, yeah, y you'll see in a future episode. I kind of talk about it during my solo, but that's hard. A lot of people I mean, I've dealt with that. So many people have dealt with that. You know, mm -hmm. it's a lot. It's a lot. Even thinking now with uh, seeing Shane. Oh, also update everybody. Since Shane was on the pod, the baby is here. Yay. He's so cute. I loved the episode that you did with him. I had so much fun and he had such a good time too. Mm -hmm. And my mom like loved it. But he, very shortly after, maybe like a week or so after the baby came. Or no, no, no. I don't remember when I recorded that. I don't know, honestly, I have no concept of time, but <laughs> soon after he had the baby. Um, but it's just really interesting to think about like, you know, 
how are him and his wife going to raise their baby? And like Cal and I have spoken about yeah. when we have kids one day, like what are we going to do in terms of religion and things like that? Yeah. So it's interesting to to think about that in the future because obviously your parents had a decision for them with you. Uh-huh. Insane. Uh-huh. 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 But that was good. But all of this to say, uh, it's been a hot minute since we've recorded. I think it was our Coachella episode. Yeah. That's, it's been, that's long. been a long time. So we are very excited just to be here and catch up. Um, mm-hmm. We did just record a really long um, podcast episode. So I feel my cheeks being tired. Uh, so if I have mad resting bitch face in this episode, I'm just going to clock it right now. It's because I like, I film, I film me making face. I know I already make faces sometimes because <laughs> I feel it. I'm like focused, fo- fo- like relax your face. Like I do that all the time, but now I feel it really bad. So but with a guest, because we just had a guest on for two hours. Can we say, yeah, I can say it. Uh, Madison Beer just came on for two hours. She came on a few, three? two hours and 15 minutes. Oh, that was 15. No, two hours and 15 minutes. Madison Beer came on a few weeks ago and then we ended up having to scrap the episode. And so she came back in to re record and she was fantastic, amazing, beautiful, stunning, all the things, everything I've ever dreamed for. Like, I am a Madison Beer fan i have been since as she pleases i love her so much and um i've never met her though and she completely exceeded my expectations but when you're on a podcast with a guest for that long i feel like you have to keep up the smile you don't have to keep up the smile no, with me. we need a compilation of me just making jank faces like <laughs> like i'm trying to show that i'm interested but i don't think something between my brain and my face muscles like Maybe it's the Botox. I swear. It, <laughs> it's the Botox. It's, that was good. Thank you. That was really good. It's on the breath. Do it again. <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> it's the Botox. You're really good at that. You're like Ariana I, Grande adjacent. Oh my God. Don't tell me oh, that. that don't was, let it get to my head. That was really good. Speaking of which, Wicked. Oh my God. I... I can't fucking wait. I, I can't, can't fucking wait. wait. It's not till November 2024. Oh, are you kidding? Yeah, it's a while. That They're filming sense. though the two. I do have the inside scoop, everyone. Ooh. They actually, I think this is public knowledge. I was gonna- <laughs> but they're filming both back to back so Good. they can release both. Um, I don't know when the second's coming also, out. I just feel like the actual, like the continuity. I get that. Yeah. Also, well, the, think of like, set. yes. You know so that they much. filmed all of the Lord of the Rings back to back to back as well. I didn't know that. Yeah. I just watched Lord of the Rings. Finally. I'm a fan. Who would have thought? How did you sit through Cal's it? wet dream. I loved it. I will say they're each like three hours. So like the first one at like two 30, I was like, getting a little tired but that's i made it pretty far i finished it i i still have to watch the third one but they're really good i'm like shocked you know I, i'm not even on that bandwagon <gasps> i loved it i do like um platinum blonde orlando bloom oh my god he's so hot i remember being in like elementary school and that came out and i was like he's so cute he's so beautiful he's kind of like barely in it yeah like he's in it but like not as much as i thought for like how prominent of him being platinum blonde is in my head you know i just saw this recently this just reminded me i saw a clip of jennifer lawrence saying that she auditioned for twilight (gasps) my favorite favorite little tidbits of knowledge are finding out what people a interviewed or or auditioned for or b what roles they turned down yes did you see that um someone turned down devil wears prada oh my god uh who was andy anderson um they didn't specify who oh my god wait i have to look this up because i can't fuck it up wait i love this game it a thousand percent changes what the movie or show would have been with a whole new person um henry cavill Audition to be Edward. What? He was going to be Edward. And I was like, whoa, that would be such a different Twilight without. Instead of Robert Pattinson? Robert, Ro- yeah. What? Oh, Rachel McAdams. She was supposed to be in it, but then weren't like, I assume she would have been Andy. She, I think she actually, yeah, she offered. They offered it to Rachel McAdams three times and she said no. But that was meant to be Anne Hathaway. I know, right? Other actresses considered included Scarlett Johansson, Natalie Portman, Kate Hudson, and Kirsten Dunst. Wow. Do you think if you were Anne Hathaway or just like, obviously not just Anne Hathaway specifically, but in every role, 99% of the time, they probably offer it to someone and then it just doesn't work Mm -hmm. out with scheduling or conflicts or whatever it may be. Would you be butthurt that you weren't the first choice? I don't think so. I mean, maybe. I think I'd just be so happy that I got it. Yeah. 
you know? For sure. And when you think about it, I feel the same way. I think I'd be a little butthurt, but that's just because I'm a sensey girly. But also a lot of times the writers write it with an actor or actress in mind yeah. and they package it that, that way when they sell it. Yeah. So obviously if you're writing with someone like Rachel McAdams in mind, mm -hmm. but again, I can't picture, that would be such a different movie if she was the main character. Yeah, I agree with that. Like Anne Hathaway was the perfect and Perfect. So. It also kind of reflected Princess Diaries with the makeover. And I feel like that was mm. just so, it like, I it, 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 I don't know, like as a fan of Princess Diaries, I think it made me a huge fan. Like Devil Wears Prada is one of my favorite movies of all time. I mean, it was very, just well done. So, so well Meryl done. Meryl Streep. <gasps> Fun fact about Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry, I've become no, I love it. such a Lord of the Rings girly lately. But did you know, do you know who plays, you know, um, my precious. Yeah, Gollum. Gollum, uh, do you know who he, who plays him? No. Andy Serkis which if you think of 13 going on 30, the British boss, that's Gollum. Isn't what? that crazy? You know, I didn't, then I had to watch 13 going on 30. Yeah. And it's so crazy. Sorry. You're good. <laughs> You're like, mm, boy. Yeah, I mean, that's so crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I thought that was just a fun little fact. Oh my God, Cal would be so proud of you. I know he would. He's turned you into quite a little movie buff. I know. Marvel, Harry Potter, Lord of the Lord, Rings. No, Lord of the Rings is another level. I love it. I posted about my favorite Jennifer Lopez movie recently. I saw that. Uh, you did. Also, you knit. Why have you never gone to knitting club? I, I wasn't invited. I've asked many times if I can go and no one lets me come. What do you mean? I, mean, I just need to show up. No, I think you need to actually be like, no, can I, I, come? I knit. <laughs> like, I needed I them all blanket. Oh, no, literally I was like, wait, what? What? We had Lauren and Jeremy over the other night and we were just like all sitting and talking and we were just like chilling on the couch and like me being me, like I had to do something mm -hmm. with my hands. So I was like, I'm gonna knit. So I just got up and got my knitting needles and started knitting and I knitted a whole blanket while we were just talking. <laughs> my favorite part is like, it's not even just like the little needles. It's, it's the giant like the needles. Like, needles. <laughs> it's where you have to like move your whole arm up. You're like, yeah. And then basically the next thing in Tokyo was Wait, like- look at that form. Was that, Do you know, know how to knit too? Um, I mean, I, I went to knitting class. What? Oh my God, that was really good. <laughs> I don't good. even know if they still do it, but you should go. I or know I need come. to. I do but love, teach you. I, I love knitting. Mm -hmm. I do. Matt will, will teach you. <laughs> I would like to now pivot the conversation into what were some of your favorite toys from when we were younger Sorry, that you you're forgot like, I'm about? Done with knitting. No, because I was going to segue from, I went to Michael's recently. Ollie and I were like, let's have a day where we do you know, just like a chill arts home and arts and crafts day. So we went to Michael's and I was roaming the aisles and I got to the aisle where they have all those like crafty kits, like the bean making or like, you know, the rock one where you like throw oh, yeah. the rocks in for a week. So I was like looking at all these things and it made me think about how I used to have this loom when I was a kid. And basically it was like a, a knitting situation where it was like a circle and you just like guided the string through once. But then once you had it guided through in the right, like, like up and down, up and down. It had this crank and you went and it would knit you a whole hat. Just <laughs> and it would just go up to the top. So um I was just wondering because I follow a lot of TikTok accounts that are like 90s toys that you forgot about. Oh my God. Are there any that come to mind for you or yes, things you think? I had about? a bedazzler one where you put it had the a prong and then you picked your gem <gasps> and you put the gem in the thing and then you put the prong on the, the bottom of the base. It was this big pink plastic one. <gasps> You'd put your piece of clothing in and then you just snap it down and it would like sandwich the clamp and the gem. Uh -huh. And I bedazzled all my shit. Oh my God. One. I think I've seen that because you could do like shirts or like per, the tote bag I think Anything. was on the front. I also had this snow cone, Snoopy snow cone maker. Oh my God, I'm so jealous. Oh my God. Or my easy bake oven or the most forgotten about niche. What the hell was it called? It was the easy bake oven competitor called the real something real easy bake real. So it was like a the bigger version. I forget what it was, Damn it! but I loved it so much. It's so funny because in reality, it's just like an electric stove. No, they're like, you know, your easy bake oven cooked with a light bulb. Yeah. Like how did uh, we... Those things weren't safe to eat, right? Well, also like, I mean, they were recalled so many times. I'm thinking about it now. Cause like my favorite personally was the chocolate cake. Oh, like the brownie one? Yes, but- It must have been like no egg or something with, um, That's it. what I'm thinking. But then what binded it? It needed something to be bound. But also, 
this is the question maybe like salmonella please i don't know dude a light bulb oh but i love sticking that little stick in there and like pulling it out on the other uh, uh other side oh my god i always want it i yeah <sighs> ashley had one you didn't have one i didn't have one but like with sisters, isn't like if it's yours, yeah. like you share. <laughs> well, if it's hers, we share. If it's mine, it's mine. <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, I played with Barbies a lot. I <sighs> loved my Barbies. I loved my Barbies, but having a little brother meant that they would draw and cut your Barbies hair and like undress them and like put them in like crazy areas of the house. <laughs> See, I never had that. Mm -hmm. One no funny story that I told the podcast. Always. That'll come up soon. I was saying how I was such a people pleaser as a kid that I had this memory recently and I where it made me laugh because this is so me now, but as a kid, you know, I'd have play dates over at my house and like friends would come over and as they would be like, okay, like it's Remy, it's temper, like, you know, Joanna to leave. I'd be like, okay. And I'd like take Joanna into my closet and I'd be like, do you want to take anything home? And I would just give them my things, like whatever you want, take it. And they would like leave with my things. And my mom had to sit me down and be like, Remy, stop giving people your things. But I thought that like, if I gave them things that they'd like me more. No, I had a friend who did that. <laughs> her name was Dallas. And I Dallas! remember she, it, for her birthday, she'd have like, we'd all go have a sleepover at her house and uh -huh. stuff. And then she'd be like, okay, everyone can choose one thing of my toys. <laughs> and I remember I, 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 I chose this blue see-through, um, it was one of the Hello Kitty characters. I don't know which one it was. I'm so sorry. What did she look like? It was, I forget. Like I see it in my head, but I don't. Chaco cat. It wasn't a cat. It was black and white. The uh, dog? I think it was the dog. <gasps> I forget the dog's name. Hold on, let me look it up. Look, um, it was this little purse bag and I loved it. And then I think a day or two later, I had like one of my favorite little bunnies and I put it in my purse. And then we went to um, like Chuck E. Cheese or something for a, another friend's birthday or something like that. And at the end of the night, Pachaco. I'm like, Pachaco, it was him. <laughs> okay. And then I remember looking down and I realized, oh my God, my where's my purse? This <gasps> is the first time in my life I've, I ever lost my purse. I was eight. Someone probably. stole it? I was six or seven. I don't know. I was young. My first time, what wasn't going to be in my last. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and all that was in it was a little bunny. <gasps> and I started sobbing because I was like, I think I left it on one of these games. And everyone was like, well, why'd you bring a purse to? And <laughs> I was like, because it's my purse. <laughs> I was so sad. I was sobbing. And it was I basically, I didn't even get like one time wearing my new purse. <gasps> I was so sad because I loved it so Dallas's much. purse. Dallas's. We should check Hello in on kid. Dallas and make sure she's doing okay and not too much of a people pleaser now. <laughs> okay, well, I mean this in the most loving way, but I remember, you know, like when you hadn't seen someone in a long time and then the first time you see them on like Facebook. Yeah. I remember thinking like, oh, I don't think she's doing good. <gasps> oh, Dallas. I know. I hope she's okay now. This is making me think of this story that I don't think I told on this podcast, but Cal and I went to Vegas a while ago. And while we were there, I mean, was I drunk at 11 a.m.? Yes. <laughs> I was at the casino at 11 a.m. playing some roulette, just a little drunk. And I feel this tap, tap, tap on my shoulder. And I was like, oh my God, I turned around. And here's the thing, 99% of the time, and I've learned my lesson to not think that it's a, a subscriber or a follower, but I was drunk and I had lost my inhibitions. And mm -hmm. immediately I went to like, oh, maybe it's a subscriber. So I turn around, I'm like, hi. And she's like, Remy. And I'm like, hey. And she's like, hey, we went to high school together. And I was like, hi, but I didn't recognize her at all. And I was like, oh, because I was drunk, I said something so rude. I was just like, what's your name again? Which is so rude, but I didn't remember her name because she looked different. No, that's the same thing of saying, remind me your name. Oh, still, I felt so rude. And I was like, after I felt so bad, I was just like, what's your name again? She was like, it's Kelly. I was like, Kelly. And then she said her last name. I was like, Kelly. And then because I was so drunk, I went, oh my God, you look like a woman. <laughs> <laughs> and she's standing there with her hot boyfriend. Like she's stunning, like tatted up, gorgeous. Her hot boyfriend's next to her. I, I'm in a casino drunk at 11 a.m. <laughs> not looking good. And you know, she was with her boyfriend, but like, oh my God, wait, I know her. We went yes. to high school together. I was so embarrassed. So she and I were friends, but I just haven't seen her in so long. And I don't, I don't check my Facebook. So I didn't know she got tattoos and looked so different. Um, and I was like, oh my God. And then, and then I felt so awkward for saying that. Cause she was just like, yeah. And I was like, well, Nice to well, see you. Well, the same thing basically happened to me. Remember we were sitting, I think I already said this on a pod for our, our Vegas episode when I ran into someone who was sitting next to us. She taps my shoulder and I was like, oh my God, 
No, I don't remember with, this. With you and Steph? Oh, yes. <gasps> the yes. same thing happened to yes. me. We were literally at dinner. I apologize if I've said this before. I cannot remember my <gasps> yes. memory. We're sitting at dinner in Vegas and I'm like, do, do, do. Same thing happens. Someone's hand comes over and like kind of like just gestures towards us. Like, I'm so sorry to interrupt. But and I was like, oh, maybe they want like a photo for their sister or like something like that. Because that happens like somewhat. It's not uncommon, but it's not like super, super common. And basically the girl who was already sitting next to me for over an hour and so we were, su- our tables were super close to her. She goes, hi, we went to high school together. And I was like, <laughs> I didn't, it did not register. I was like, I don't recognize you. And I'm usually really good with that stuff. So I was like, oh my God. I felt the same way. I was like, and she goes, it's me. And I'm like, and I was like, it's me. I was like, and then she said her full name and I was like, oh my God. And then I like instantly saw it so different. Like she had before she was, she had super long hair and now it was short and she had so many tattoos. She's and so, so nice. So, but it was funny. Cause like we actually were such good friends, but it's just, it's crazy when you're younger and you think of all the people who you're around, whether it's school, church, you know, groups, et cetera, whatever. And they seem like that's how they'll always look. Yes. in life and then when you get older and see who they become you're like whoa you were always going to be that does that make sense yes but also like not everyone does social media or ha- like uh, to the extent in which we do where totally. we have like a youtube video out every week and uh a podcast out every week and like people if they wanted to keep up or catch up with us more frequently they could but i had this best friend growing up who i have known since I was a kid and I still follow her on Instagram. We're still like mutuals on Instagram. And she posted this story the other day and she like, will post like pictures with her and her kid and like super cute and stories here and there, but they're usually just like photos. Cause like, yeah. it's just, who's like, she's not doing like, I get know. ready with she's me. not doing yeah, like ads or anything. <laughs> and so she, I heard her voice in one of the videos though. And I was like, whoosh, taken back, back to high school. It was the craziest thing, but I like, I've kept up with her all these years, but hearing someone's voice yes. was the wildest thing. And she just like, she's probably up to date on what I do. And she probably hears enough of my voice all the time. <laughs> she can't get away from it. She Did probably you muted wa- me. <laughs> Did you ever wonder what you'd look like when you grew up? No, as I told you, I don't dream. <laughs> <laughs> I distinctly remember thinking really hard, like, wow, I wonder what I'm going to look like when I'm older. And it's funny because I think like when I look at, you know, young adults now or like teenagers or kids or something, I'm like, okay, I can see kind of what you will look like when you're older. But like when it comes to yourself, you're just like, I don't know. Like, what am I going to look like? That's true. Yeah. No, I never thought about that, but I mean, Like baby Remy, your photo, like looks like you now. I love when people look like their baby photo. No, it's it's so cute. But I just remember when I was like 12 thinking, I wonder what I'm going to look like when I'm older. Okay. Is it everything you thought of? Um, no. (laughs) (laughs) What were you expecting? No, I genuinely couldn't picture it. (laughs) Like I was like. It's hard. You know what you should have done? You should have gone to like those crime CSI people and had them like draw up what it was going to look like. (laughs) Should have gone to CSI. I know you're really busy, but I really need your help right now. Yeah. Well, now you have filters. Like now I already know what I'm going to look like as a grandma because of these like Instagram TikTok filters. I'm like, oh shit. (laughs) (laughs) Like before you had no idea. (laughs) If you guys have been catching up with Remy and I, we both separately actually went to Japan recently. I went to visit some family friends. And when I tell you, I wish I knew Japanese now more than ever because we're visiting a a, a really good friend who's basically like a sister and she has uh, two kids. So they're like my niece and nephew. And and even though they're, they're actually really good at English, I wish I could speak to them fluently in Japanese and especially they're so young. So I think I would love to have a goal of being able to know a little bit more Japanese by the next trip I go out there to visit them mostly because I want to be the best aunt I can be to them. And I feel like that would be so special to be able to bond over that. So this is the perfect time to introduce one of the sponsors to this podcast, Rosetta Stone. Um, It honestly couldn't have come at a more perfect time. They've been the expert in language learning for 30 years and an award-winning app where you can learn anytime, anywhere. I am obsessed with how they've structured their learning curriculum because it's so much less about just straight memorizing things that you're eventually gonna forget. It puts you in real life scenarios and it it helps you learn bite-sized pieces and you can seriously learn and make real progress in as little as 10 minutes a day. 
Also, if you don't happen to have niece and nephews in Japan and you want to learn other languages, they have 25 languages. There's Spanish, French, Italian, German, Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, Arabic, Polish, so much more. And it goes beyond just vocab. It really focuses on speaking practices, pronunciation with their true accent feature and more. So whether it's for loved ones traveling or you just want to, you know, keep your brain sharp, there are so many different reasons why you should download Rosetta Stone. And for a limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's Lifetime Unlimited subscription, which gives you access to all 25 of their languages forever. That's 40% off. Visit rosettastone.com slash basic today. Rosetta Stone, how language is learned. All right. Well, that was a very long tangent of an intro, <laughs> but uh, how have you been? Keep us updated. And how are you really? Oh, how are you? Thank you so much for asking. I'm actually really good. I feel like things have just... I've been so much happier. I definitely, um, I, I'm just tired right now. <laughs> I get it. I get it. I've been tired. I've been sleeping a lot right when we, Tokyo was amazing. It was honestly so amazing. It was such a fulfilling trip seeing um, our friends and my little niece and nephew are like the cutest things ever. <gasps> They're so um, cute. They wrote me cards being like, please come back and visit. Like, thank you for the gift. I was like, I I'm sobbing. I kept them all. Like now I get why parents keep all the little things. Yeah. And you're like, why did you keep this? This is like not that good. Yeah. And it's like, no, it's so beautiful. <laughs> um, so it was just good that way. I did get, Ashley and I both got a cold when we got back. So I was down bad for a few days. Um, I'm not, I truly am not kidding. And because it, I was jet lagged like crazy, I think within... 48 hours, AKA two days. I slept about 27. <laughs> I'm being dead serious. I'm not exaggerating. Maybe 25. We'll go with that a full day. I, I remember landing from our flight. I, in the morning, went to bed at noon, woke up at five. From then I was like, wow, I slept five hours. Went back to bed around like 9, 30, 10. Slept all the way back to 10 a.m. Uh, what? To another 12 hours. Then again, because I'm sick too, I was just like, it was just two things. Then from there, I was up to like three. I thought you meant you slept from 10 a.m. to 10 a.m. That's why I said. Oh, what? no, 10 a.m. <laughs> like, just 12 what? hours. I was like, 12 hours. Not that bad. No, that's not that's um, normal. And then I, I took a nap in the middle of that day. Then I fell back asleep really late that next night. Slept again another 12 hours. Like, I was just sleeping. It was great. I watched a lot of New Girl. Mm. So that's my go-to sick show. Really? Yeah, love New Girl. Okay. It's because it's funny. It's light. Oh, I did take Ashley to a birthday present that I- <laughs> I did see that. Okay, no, this was so random. Back in December for my sister's birthday, which was on Christmas, I remember thinking, okay, I usually get her purses or like things. Like, let's do an experience. Like maybe a concert. And I'm like, okay- What's really showing? I don't know. Why the moment I'm sitting on my table with my computer looking for gift ideas, I get an email from like Ticketmaster or StubHub or one of those ticket sites, and it says concerts coming up in your area. Mm -hmm. Something, something, something. And I'm like, oh my god, let me look. So I go and I look. There's random shows. No, no one who she would want to see. But at the bottom, it said the Game of Thrones orchestra experience, and I was like, oh, what? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> One, she's a huge Game of Thrones fan. Mm -hmm. Two, we love orchestras. Yeah. Like band geeks unite. Okay. <laughs> and so I was like, oh my God, this could be fun for us. Might, like, I don't know what to expect. It might be kind of like, I mean, also they have their main theme song, but like, what else does it mean? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, what else are they going to play? Got them randomly, give them to her. I'm like, yeah, it might be different. It's exciting. Like, and she was like, oh my God, no, I'm super excited. Forget about it. Mm. Completely would have missed it if it wasn't for the email that I got in Tokyo being like, see you Saturday, if Why not, you sell put it in your calendar. I thought I did, I did it. <laughs> and I was like, holy shit, Ash, uh, are you free Saturday? Which was in like two days. <laughs> She's like, I think so, why? And I was like, oh my God, thank God, we have the thing. And then we were, they were like still like kind of sick and I was like, oh my God. But we went and it was anything and everything that I like so good. It was amazing. It was at the Hollywood Bowl. Basically what it was the actual, composer wow who also has done iron man and so wow. like i looked him up his name was Ram ramin i think um i honestly didn't know i didn't really know who he was but when i saw his page with everything he's worked on a wrinkle in time like he's uh, so many well-known movies that everyone knows um he did the entire game of thrones series and the new one that's out 
So I was like, holy shit, like he was there. Not only did he compose the whole thing, he was directing the whole thing. So I was like, this is huge. This is also like mo- not every single one of the orchestra that was there, but they were like the recording artist of it too. So it wasn't just like a cover band. It was like the orchestra and the, I'm like, how does someone's mind, he thought of that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, that's very cool to like see it in real life like, for himself, like to see that come into he, fruition. So what was really cool was, cause obviously Game of, Thrones, Game of Thrones was forever ago. Multiple times he would turn around and be like, thank you guys so much. Like this is so surreal because it's been so long since I've played these and it's like bringing me back. And it's just so surreal to be here. And I'm like, wow. Like, that's cause so he was like sweet. the last time we toured was like 2019 or something. It was only a one night show. It was like very random. Um, but what they did I thought he was going to play like Iron Man stuff too, but it wasn't that it was full Game of Thrones experience. So what they did is they had the huge, huge screens and they would play songs, but then put the scene that it played uh, in the, in the show. On Very the t- cool. So it That's was kind was of like yeah. you were at the movies, but watching a mashup of the, and it was, it went through all the seasons, like all eight seasons of different things. And it was really it basically was the highlight of the highlights of the entire show. Cause very of cool playing and then a live orchestra and choir, like going along with it. I kept looking at the screen and I would forget. I'm like, Oh my God, they're playing it. Like I kept thinking it was just like the sound from the speakers. I'm like, Oh my God, look down Alicia. Like this whole, whole orchestra is playing. Like it was so sick. If you are a huge fan or if you just need want to go so worth it. Ashley was like almost crying. Cause she was like, this is so crazy like it was just so beautifully done and um it was so cute because at the very end he was like last year or last time I was here it was like five years ago he was like I you know I thanked the stage managers I, I thanked all of the musicians and da, da, da. he was like and I forgot one person to thank and it's been bothering me for five years so I just want to take this time to say thank you so much to my wife da, da, da. and I was like oh my god that is so cute he was like she helped produce this show she, he was like I don't know what I was thinking like it was so Aww. cute and he went on a whole little tangent being like I wouldn't be the man who I am today thank you so much for like um supporting me in this like crazy world and letting and it was just so beautiful he's like he she has done so <laughs> much for this show and produ- like I was like I wow. hope every day for five years she did not yes! love again. I literally was like I wonder if there was some fights about it. no I'm just kidding uh, but it was it was really sweet. so sweet. It, that was actually really fun and then my brother also randomly decided to come down and visit um the everybody way- thinks your brother's fake everyone thinks I don't have a brother I do have a brother he is my half brother um, and we've never lived together and he doesn't, he lives in Alaska. Um, and it was funny cause I posted a photo of him on my Instagram today and the amount of people being like, wait, you have a brother. <laughs> <laughs> Mia even commented. She was like, the comments are hilarious. Right now. I was like, oh my God. Um, and then the amount of Ali, uh, Ali Shang comments were also really funny. Um, but yeah, he came down and visited my parents while we were in Tokyo, but we were able to catch him for the last little bit. So that was really good to like catch up and he's doing so well, which was just really nice. Um, and it, it's, it's fun being, um, older and being able to have conversations with your siblings in an older way. For sure. Um, so we spent Mother's Day together and stuff. My mom was so happy because she was like, it's my first time with all my kids, which um, Matt is on my dad's side, but my mom sees him just like her own. And he- I'm sure he appreciates so, that so much. Him and my mom can talk for hours on the phone. They're so close. Um, so yeah, it was, it was it's good, but I just feel like it's all been a blur. I'm like, where am I? What am I doing? Um, I leave for Italy this weekend. There's just, I know so, you're so busy. Going. I'm just tired, but, but grateful, happy to be here. Happy to be here. Happy to be here right now recording this podcast. I did talk your ear off last night. It was our first time really FaceTiming. <laughs> I, I loved it. <laughs> no, I know. But like we kept trying to say bye and then we would like go on a whole new tangent. <laughs> and then like, like three hours. I weirdly got like weird family, not drama, like in, just intense news from for, for family, friends and stuff. And then I'm like, sorry, Remy, I gotta call you back. And then I call her back and I'm sobbing. Like, it was just like very, like there's so much that we talked about yesterday. It was funny. Cause like you were going to come over, but I was like, don't worry about coming over. We'll just reschedule because we've got a long day tomorrow at the pod. Like, just don't worry about it. We'll just see each other in a couple of days. And then, uh, I ended up FaceTiming you to ask you like uh, something simple. And then we ended up talking for three hours on FaceTime. Literally. I was but like, we covered oh so God. much, which I is know. so good. Well, I'm glad to hear that Japan was fun. They're so, the whole family is so cute. So cute. I love them. I love them all. And it was so fun keeping up with your content. And same, you're still posting. I'm so proud. I am tired. I didn't, <laughs> I didn't make it to the fish market. 
<gasps> you didn't. It's okay. No, it's kind we, of like a tourist trap. So our mistake is we ended up planning to go when it happened to be like a Saturday afternoon. And we are yeah. like, oh, and we walked past it and it was, the lines were crazy. We're like, oh, we did that so wrong. Next time we'll plan come way early on a weekday. Yeah. Also, we were there during golden week. So yes. It was very busy. It wasn't too bad, but it was funny because Yuka was like, oh my God, it's so busy. Um, and I was like, oh, I mean, this just seems normal. But yeah. then we went back to Harajuku on Monday when everyone was back in school or um, work and it was so empty. I was like, oh. Wow, that's so interesting. Yeah. Um, I care about is that you finally tried the candied strawberries. I had them twice. So good, so right? Good. I them so many times. So good. I loved it. They're so good. I want to make them at home. Let's do it. I know. I'm just lazy. Oh. <laughs> but there it's like it's a little bit not an intense process, but like it takes a lot of like Child you have to error. make sure that you hit the right temperature. Mm. So I'm lazy, but how I'll do it. um how how have you been? I have been good. I feel like I finally just got back into my routine of everything because also same as you, my jet lag kicked my ass. We got home at like eleven AM on one day and I knew I was like I should not sleep but I know I'm going to. So we got home, Cal stayed awake all day, went to bed at night, normal hours, didn't have a single lick of jet lag. Cause he's just always good with that stuff. Like My he's really like good that. at, he's just good at keeping himself busy. So like he knows better. Me laid down. Oh, I, I literally said, okay, I'm going to bed night. <laughs> like, bye. I went to bed, I took a nap. And then of course that fucked me up. At one point, I think like one or two nights in, I stayed up until 9.30 in the morning because I was like, oh, I'm just gonna stay awake. I'm just gonna stay awake. I'm just gonna stay awake. And then of course I fell asleep at 9.30ish, 10ish. And I was like, oh, I'll just take like a quick nap till like noon. I woke up and I checked my phone. It said 4.57. I was like, I slept the whole that day. To me but too. I thought it was in the morning. I was like, oh, I am up early. <laughs> 4.30, I'll let's just go. go. Yeah, no, it was um, 5 p.m. <laughs> and I had, a meal. I had to go to bed again, uh, but I'm all good now. Um, I'm just a sleepy person. So I like to get my my hours in. Other than that, it was good. It was, I mean, the trip was amazing. Um, Yeah, getting back to work. I've been posting my Japan vlogs. I ended up doing like 13. Yeah, yeah I did one every single day just because there was so much to do. Granted, all I did was eat no, <laughs> and shop. That's all. And eat and shop. That's all, that's all you do. <laughs> I mean, there was, the food was incredible. I had the best time. Um, and then, yeah, I've just been like home working. The baby was born, obviously. Oh my God, yeah, you're an aunt. Sorry, that was actually the big news. I got home from Tokyo. I had to get ba back on my sleep schedule. So a couple nights I was just like, you know, trying to get back on that. And then finally I forced myself to go outside. I'm like, I need to get up. I'm going to go to the store because I bought Holden, that's his name, some baby clothes in Tokyo. So I was like, oh, I wanted to make them a basket. So I was like, bitch, get the fuck up go to Target, do do something so that you're not just sleeping all day. So I went to Target and I bought him like little baby booties and some Aww. blankets and like little baby things to fill the basket because he was supposed to come the following week. Okay, He was, um, they were like ready. They had made their, their appointment to be induced. And so I bought all the stuff at Target. I got home, I get home, put all my Target stuff down. I look at my phone, water broke. <gasps> Isn't that crazy? So then I was like freaking the fuck out. I was like, oh my God. I call my mom frantic. I'm like, I'm coming back to Orange County now. She's like, that's not how it works for me. <laughs> she's like, it's going to be a while. Oh, I was days. like, it's fine. I'll sleep over. Like I'll be there. And she's like, no, no, no. Like it, it first babies take a long time. Yeah. So I just waited with bated <laughs> breath. Cal and I stayed up till four in the morning, just waiting to, to see Aww. if we could like rush over there. But it ended up taking longer than we expected. Um, and I finally got to meet him and holy shit, babies are so little. No, it's cr It's like, it's life. Like uh, they made life. <gasps> I like couldn't believe he came to my yacht party. <laughs> like no, he, he was, was there. there. He was there. Yeah. <laughs> no, I was just crazy. Like he's just so little. And just laying there when I walked in, I was just like, I've never been around a baby that young before. Mm. I, the the uh, the oldest baby that I've ever met was Steph's baby when he was, I think three, almost four weeks old. It's so also different when it's like your family. And that too. I'm like, oh, this is what I did. So <laughs> as I was waiting before he was actually like birthed. I was laying in bed because obviously I knew he was coming. I was trying to keep myself up. So it was like 2 a.m. I was laying in bed and I'm just waiting. I think I did talk about this on my soul, whatever I'll tell you. Um, I'm like laying there and I'm like, oh my God, I'm thinking, I'm like, wow, like 
he's going to experience so many firsts. That's so exciting. I was like, his first love, his first heartbreak, his first A on a paper, his first time hearing music. So I'm like crying. I'm literally (laughs) crying. And then I'm like, oh my God, I thought about that statistic where every six seconds a baby is born. And I was like, he's the baby. (laughs) And then I thought about how there's also the statistic that every six seconds someone dies. So then I was like, oh, who's dying now? I hope they're okay. I so just I wish there was a camera on you. <laughs> I literally laying and, flat and on my was, and it was fast forward. So it's like you see you like smiling and then laughing and then sobbing <laughs> by and then crying by yourself. <laughs> Finally, Cal came in. And I told him he was like, Remy. <laughs> <laughs> I just, it was sad to think about, but new life. It's incredible. They did an incredible thing. They're incredible parents. And I'm, All I know, I am not fit to be a mother right now because (laughs) finally the baby was born. So exciting. Everyone's sending photos of the, like Shane sending all these photos of the baby and the hospital room and Lily looking gorgeous in bed. Uh, Instead of looking at the baby or Lily, my eyes first go to the chocolate chip pancakes that were sitting on her lap. I was like, (laughs) damn, the hospital food looks good. Uh And I thought it and I was like, hmm. I'm not going to say that one out loud. I sent it to Lauren and she just replies, damn those pancakes. <laughs> and then I sent it to all. He said, what kind of pancakes are those? And I was like, so all three of us are not meant to be parents. <laughs> <laughs> what's funny though, is like, it, it is such a question of like, what's your first meal going to be? You know, cause yes. it, everyone, um, a, a, not a close friend, but a girl, girl I know finally had her kid and she posted sh- her first meal with sugar fish. Cause she was like, I've been craving <gasps> I this love for it. so long. Steph had uh, someone bring her a spicy tuna roll in bed. Yeah, amazing. I would do that for sure. Yeah. I would get, uh, it's hard though, because you can't like, as much as I would love like a Cosmopolitan or like a Tito's Crystal Light, you can't you drink that, that early, no, right? Cause then no. you have to pump and dump. Yeah, Is I, that think, the situation? I think, yeah, that would be the last thing on your mind at that point. Or maybe some champagne. We could pop it. I just won't drink it. Yeah. What's your first meal going to be? <sighs> I know mine. Everything's <laughs> going to be laid out. I'm going to have a platter of, of sashimi. Ooh. Um, I'll take it from anywhere. Um, mm-hmm. I will have a, like a foot long Jersey Mike's, like, Italian, like a like a uh, per, uh, salami, wow, yeah. all the del- any deli meats I can have, stuff it in there. I would like that. Um, ooh, I mean, what else can you not eat? Those are like the main things, right? Deli meats like and sushi, feta cheese. I know feta. Yeah, you can't have it when you're okay, pregnant. I don't really like feta, but um, I mean, I guess I'll have it. I only know that because when I worked at Extreme Pita, if if um, people were pregnant when they came in and they're like, "What's that?" I'd be like feta. They'd be like. <gasps> Oh no. And then they really? walked past and then finally someone was like, Oh, I think my boss was like, Oh yeah. When you're pregnant, you can't, there's something in it that you can't have. I saw this woman on TikTok who I follow. Her name is snack queen. She's mm-hmm. this really cute food blogger girl. Great handle. She's so great. <laughs> I love her. And she is pregnant currently, but she is eating a Jersey Mike sandwich. She's like eating sushi here and there. And you know, all the people are like freaking out in the comments, but I saw one comment that actually did stick out to me. And I was like, true um and someone said like why is everybody freaking out think of all the pregnant women in japan who eat sushi still regularly so i think it's like maybe a gamble i saw she did like a reply and she was like she had some some statistics and she was like the amount of people that like could get is it listeria or things I like think that it is a small chance it's so small but people don't want to take a no chance no one wants to take a chance even one of my friends was pregnant and they're like oh yeah i actually can have wine i can only have like uh, like half yes. of a glass, uh, but they're like, when you're pregnant, like you, your mind's just some like you, if there's anything that could harm the baby, you just want to do the best for it. Mm-hmm. So it's like, why do the, but the, the, she said some statistics to me and I was like, oh my God, in my head, it's like, if you have a slice much? of raw yeah. salmon, you're done. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But um, that's so interesting. Mm-hmm. It gave me good perspective. I think we, I won't know what I want to do until I am pregnant. And also once your hormones are changing, like I can't, I can't be responsible for what I do now mm. then. And I will take no responsibility. Did your mom have any pregnancy cravings? Um, yes, a filet fish no wonder. I love filet <laughs> fish I love a filet fish I think she said watermelon too, which I'm not a watermelon fan, so I don't know how that one happened. Um, but I remember filet fish for sure. My mom is, she's always been a snacker and kind of like eating whatever, but she always said she'd make my dad go get the, um, 
big stick popsicles. <gasps> I love a big stick. Yeah, Those she's like, she would go through the like boxes of, the, of those all the time. Cherry, cherry uh, pineapple, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah. I cannot wait for my pregnancy cravings. Oh, I like, I'm really excited. Are you, honestly, when you were talking about, this shows where my brain is, when you were talking about the pancakes mm-hmm. on um, Lily's bed, I pictured your YouTube thumbnail of you being like, first <gasps> what I ate, the, <laughs> what I ate at the hospital. <laughs> I saw Lauren Geraldo just made a TikTok and she was like, um, oh my God, I see so many women that when they're pregnant, you know, like I see all, like hear all the downsides of things. She's like, I'm here to tell you, like, it's not always that though. Like while mm-hmm. all of what they're feeling is valid. She's like, I, you know, my skin is glowing. I have no, I haven't had like any cr- crazy cravings. Like um, I haven't thrown up a single time. So she was, it was like interesting to hear that perspective because you don't hear that. Yes, I saw that she's been talking she, that she's had an easy pregnancy so far. Also, I think it's so funny because I think your mom's the one who said this. She was like, when you have a girl, they suck all the beauty out of you. Yes. But when you have a boy, your skin's glowing more. Yes. And that's funny because she's being a boy mom. Lauren. And I saw something interesting, which we can talk about this in a minute too, but it's so crazy how all of the YouTube girlies are pregnant right now. So crazy. But I did see on Lauren Geraldo's post, she talked about how like her skin was glowing. Mm-hmm. And I saw Lauren Elizabeth, who's also pregnant and she was pregnant with a girl, commented and was just like, I knew as soon as you said you're glowing, you're having a boy. Yes. So I thought that was so interesting. I mean, I'm sure it's, in some scenarios it doesn't apply, but um, it sounds like the general idea yeah. is that. But like Lauren Elizabeth, Lauren Geraldo, Saray is about to have Saray. her baby so soon. Amanda Steele just had her baby. Amanda Steele. It is so wild. It's just crazy because even though I'm 30, mm-hmm. when someone in my circle, no matter how close or far in that circle, is pregnant or has a baby. My first reaction feels like I'm in high school being like, oh my God, like this is teen pregnancy. Yes, like, oh my God. And I'm like, wait, it's funny how like I forget, like my mom was like 20 something. Like, like it, I feel I like still I'm still young. Yes. Which like obviously teen moms and moms in general are fucking incredible and teen moms are absolutely amazing but i go back to the same thing too like murph will call me and be like oh my god this person's pregnant from high school and i'm like oh, on purpose because i feel yeah. like i'm a child yes, again yes it's like oh my god like what but i think a lot of it is always thinking that we would feel like adults when we were older and now you still feel like your normal self you i just- feel a little stunted sometimes do you think i'm curious to know how you feel i'll be honest because i i mean this is a whole other conversation not about moms now but um Obviously we have had different tra- trajectories of life than than like the norm, I would say, obviously. Mm-hmm. Like from our starting our careers younger and just having careers that like didn't even exist a while ago. And obviously just like doing social media as a career when we were doing it in the beginning was not a thing. With all that being said, in some ways I felt as though I have had to grow up faster than my peers did based on a lot of things that we've experienced and a lot of things that we got kind of thrown into. But there are certain things where I feel like I am stunted. Like I am 28 and I look at a lot of my peers from high school and my friends that I've grown up with. And I feel like in a lot of ways, I guess it depends on the person, Mm -hmm. but I'm thinking of my friend who I haven't heard from or heard their voice in so long. She's 28. She has a kid. She's not even 28. She's 27. She has a baby. She has a husband. They've been married for a while. She went, she did like the traditional route of everything Mm -hmm. in timeline in the timeline. And I'm like, I know compared to her, I look fucking crazy. (laughs) I know she like, you know what I mean? And Mm -hmm. I know like even personality or I don't know, just a lot of different ways. I feel very stunted compared to, to her. And I'm not sure if it's because of everything that I've experienced in my life that has made me this way, because I do know sometimes, uh, I think of specifically YouTubers who have been around for a while, sometimes get stunted at a certain age because Mm -hmm. of, um, I don't know what it is, if it's money or videos. success. <laughs> yeah, true. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I don't know if it's that, or I don't know if I wasn't doing YouTube, if I would still feel this way. Um, but I don't know. I just feel in some ways I do feel like an adult, but I also, in some ways I also am like, I do feel very immature sometimes. Like if you watch my vlog and I'm like screaming, I'm like, okay, well, I'm like an, <laughs> a mature 28 year old wouldn't do that. No, but like, yes, I don't know. No, I, I feel that. I think one, we have youthful personalities in general. So I'll get comments being like, aren't you like 30? And I'm like, yeah. <laughs> um, but it's just, it's just funny. Cause I'm like, oh, their idea of what a 30 year old is like, or acts like is clearly very different, you yes. know? Um, but when you were talking about that, I fully related because I think what's hard is, we relate to a lot of older people 
in their 40s who are business owners, like the fact that we can sit down and have conversations about like, oh my God, yes, what I've learned about taxes and my LLC and blah, 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 blah. Your average 22, 23 year old is never experiencing that. So I think in that way, we feel so mature and like we grew up quick, you know, like even just lingo and houses and, and like all of that, like investment property, like that type of stuff, I think we've learned early. So we feel so mature in that sense. But then when we also feel so immature because when you are comparing yourself to someone in their later 20s who is, have, you know, having a family or whatever, um, a lot of our friends who are teachers or something and, and we hear what they're going through or, or dealing with, to us, we're like, oh, I can't relate to that. Like, I still- You're such a grown up. I just had a birthday party this. I'm, I'm complaining about my schedule and there's too many birthday parties I have to go to. Like, you know what I mean? Like, they seem like so grown up. Mm -hmm. So I think that's what's interesting is there are so many different levels of like ways that we do feel so mature even like hiring you know like all of like that portion of what we do and stuff um but then we'll do a taste test for our job and we're like, <laughs> like, you know what I mean? yes and even diving more psychologically into what you just said I'm like I wonder if deep down inside of us and I'm just talking for us specifically but I bet a lot of people mm -hmm. can relate I wonder if because we felt in some ways we had to grow up so quickly that maybe we're holding on to other areas where we don't want to fully let go. Uh, like for instance, us like in our party phase, blacking out on the weekends, like a couple of years ago. <laughs> um, I feel like that was also a part of, of us not experiencing that in our, like in high school. Cause like we didn't, we didn't party in high school yeah. and I, I definitely like, I didn't party in college. Yeah. So I wonder if maybe it's like oh, a little bit of that. That's for sure. I think that's why so many people get mad at influencers when they're like, we get it. YouTube feels like your college. Cause everyone says it. It's like, no, like all those old conventions felt like college yeah. to us. Cause a lot of us never experienced it. Yeah. Um, and it sounds like a broken record for a reason because we all felt that way. You yeah. know, we bonded over being like late bloomers and never having a sip of alcohol to really were like 23. You know what I, I mean? was just going to say, I'm like, when you think about like partying from 18 to 22, cause you're in college, mm -hmm. those four years, we just pushed from 23 to 27. No, And and counting. Like, I feel like it was like <laughs> eight, nine years now versus like later. the four. Every, if you did the traditional four year insane college party experience, I feel like, cause they would go Thursday, Friday, like Saturday, Alex Sunday. Yes, yes. <laughs> I'm sure we have partied the same amount, even though we've been longer years because mm. her, but hers is all like, D -d 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 -d. you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Like there's no, even watching TK's brother, he just graduated, but like Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, yeah. <laughs> I'm like, when do you go to school? <laughs> like, and for four years straight yeah. and like 4.0s and extra, I'm like, how do you do it? Yeah. How? Yeah. Where we're just like once a weekend, maybe twice a weekend. <laughs> okay, that's not crazy. In my like peak party era though, which was um, 29, 2018. Was that, that was like yeah. my peak party year, I'd say. There was a solid year though. 19. 19? Yeah. There was a solid year in my life, maybe 2018 to 2019, where I was uh, really sad. And I would go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Friday, Saturdays, every weekend. But like Monday through Thursday, Monday through Friday until Friday night, I was getting my work done. I was posting my vlogs. Jeez. I was having my meetings. And then boom, clock out. Good morning, Friday, guys. Saturday, Sunday. <laughs> Hey guys, today I'm gonna be sharing with you what I just got shopping. <laughs> so I get what you mean about feeling like young. Yeah, way. I do feel, I'm, sometimes I'm embarrassed, but I also obviously can't uh, rush anything. And if it is a psychological thing, then this is who I am. You know what though? I've never struggled with it. I think the way you're, you're explaining, mm. but I think it's because my mom also has a very youthful vibe mm. to her. Like mm -hmm. she kind of acts like a kid sometimes, like not like a kid, but like, She's just like, he, he. like I, don't, I can't explain it. So I feel like in my head, I'm like, oh, that's just how I'm like. Mm, interesting. Which I will say, Ashley and I have always said sometimes over the years, especially when we were in like our prime teen angsty years, we would be so frustrated because it felt like she was talking to us like she was talking to kids. But that's just because she is a teacher who's gifted with teaching young kids, mm. elementary kids. Mm -hmm. um, she was always a music teacher. Kind of hard to shut off. But, but like, it's funny because but I feel like it was hard growing up because we would be like, why are you talking to us? Like, we don't understand what you're saying, mm -hmm. but like, that's just kind of her natural vibe. Mm -hmm. Does that make yeah, sense? Yeah, yeah, her just her way of, I mean, when you think about it, your mom is a teacher as well to you. Like she yeah. teaches you things. So if that's her style of teaching, then. I guess, I don't know. I've always <laughs> just felt, but you know what? You know what is maybe something I should talk to my therapist about? 
when it comes to dating, the thought of dating, because now that I'm 30, I know I keep talking about it. Even a few years ago, you know, I, I just, we had so many people being like, you can only date someone who's in their thirties. Like you don't need a, a, a frat boy. You need um, a successful man who's like in his thirties, right? We were told that for years, even when I was in my twenties. And what's weird now is even on dating apps, right? Like, and this is just, I don't know. Let me know what you think. It's so interesting to me how a guy could be the same exact age, but if a guy looks older, it weirds me out. Like if like, like not, not, the, oh, not that he has to look young, but like, like if a guy's like salt and pepper and like older vibes, I'm like, that's too mature for me. Like, like, because I still feel so youthful. Like the thought of like the thought of, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Like, I, I, oh my God. Like if a guy was 35, two guys are 35 and one just looks conventionally older, you're yes. not as attracted to that. I mean, I think that's just personal preference. Some girls love some people. I know, I know guys that are just very attracted to like daddies and they love it. Yeah. But I like, I mean, it's just personal preference. Okay. It's just like, like to me, that freaks me out of like something so serious and like, oh, uh, I mean, I I'm think like, that's just because you're not commitment issues. I don't know. It just feels so mature. It just feels so mature. And I'm like, oh my God, I don't like, that's where I'm like, I like, it, it's not even the age that bothers me. It's like the serious. Well, it's because you think that I'm if getting they're older, anxious, you see me like, but if you think they're older, you think that they are more likely to want to settle down quickly and you're not looking to settle down quickly. So that's what it is. But then I'm like, I don't know. It's also okay to just date people your age. Like you don't have to date. Yeah, older. but even if they were thirty and they just like had old vibes to them, I'd be, it like freaks me out. I don't know what that means. I think it's just personal preference. Okay. I think you're fine. It just there's someone out there for everyone. I just get uncomfortable. I think it's I think it's a commitment issue thing. I think that's what I'm saying. Oh, should we dive deeper into that? But I wanted to, but then I started. I felt myself twitch like like fidgeting and then I'm like that means I, I'm like where do you think your commitment from. issues stem from <laughs> it's hot in here <laughs> let's blast the air again do we turn the AC off no I mean I'm sure I could think of a, f a few things <laughs> childhood well childhood little young adult little older adult you know just <laughs> I mean, commitment's hard. No matter what, commitment is hard. Why does that tweak me out? Should we see if that guy replied? Maybe that's what it is. He didn't reply. What'd you say? You waited to respond to him. We were recording for four hours. Yeah. What, did you, what did you reply? I'm, I'm not gonna say it. Why? <sighs> see, I'm uncomfy. He's probably home watching it. What do you reply? Well, what did you reply? We can cut it, but what'd you say? Oh, I said something about recording podcasts all day blah 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 he doesn't want to bother you you're a busy woman yeah a very youthful busy woman <sighs> anyways that was my thinking with my i don't know how we got on any of this oh so in a set i brought all of that dating thing up because it like of feeling young still i'm like maybe that's what you're feeling. I'm just like, when the fuck am I gonna grow up? I look at my little brother with a baby. I'm like, oof. When I look at the pancakes first, I'm like, when am I gonna grow up? But maybe you'll always look at the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I love pancakes, I do. No, and honestly, like I would look there. Show me the photo. How big are those pancakes? I already sent it to you. But, okay, I will say I didn't look at the pancakes. <gasps> I should have had you look at it first. I mean, like, what, what yeah, do your eyes what go do you do see? first? Oh, I feel like I should have cuffed my jeans. Oh, so cute. He's so cute. Don't act like you're not looking at the pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> I was saying the pancakes are so cute. No, literally, <laughs> the fact that she and the baby are in the frame and I still saw pancakes. He's camouflaged. Okay, I did see the pancakes. And honestly, you first go to look at like her lap because you would assume she's holding the baby. Yeah. Like those, those pancakes are staring me in the eyes of the lighting. It looks good. No, dead ass. If, if and they were, my, look at, did you notice the burrito? In my, <laughs> no, there's a burrito. There's a burrito because it's in the back, but it's because those pancakes are. It's like, in, in my defense too, he's wrapped up in the blanket. That's the same color as the bassinet. So all you can see is his face. No, those pancakes are massive. Yeah, no, I know. <laughs> no. Those are like Waffle House And pancakes. they're better lit than the baby. Oh, they look really good. <laughs> That's so funny. I hope she enjoyed them because she fucking deserves it. Oh my God, yeah. Imagine birthing a human life. 
but speaking okay wait going back to what we were just talking about even my brother when he was here he was like he always says he's like man when even I don't know what I want to be when I grow up like and he's he's like 10 years older than me so he's like 40. I love that so he's just like a youthful vibe yeah but also like he would openly say on this podcast, maybe one day we'll get Matt on the podcast. I would, he I would, haven't met Matt. He would openly say that like, because of past trauma, he has commitment issues. So maybe that's something, you know, of why he feels like he's, you know, do we know? Cause we were talking about pancakes and now I'm confused what we're talking about. Oh. <laughs> no, I was talking about, um, like feeling like what you were like, when am I going to grow Youthful. up? Yes, yes, yes. Sorry. Okay. And I'm saying, I'm so, he felt the same way. Mm. He felt the same way. Maybe, maybe we won't That's ever. what I'm saying. And that's okay. Maybe that's the key to life though. Staying youthful, staying young. I, young. A big part of me is like, is it because of my career direct trajectory and experience in that sense? Or maybe it's a culmination of, of that. And also just me as a human being, maybe some, I think a some lot things of it, I've though, gone through. Like, I think it's a mix of a lot of it. I know logically I am mature. I do know that. I know I'm very, like, I've always been like the mediator of my family. Like I can handle tough situations in that sense well. But if you watch a vlog, I feel like I look like, la, 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 la. I'm like, are we the problem? <laughs> I mean, yes, but that's okay. No, I was thinking of like, I know what you mean though. Cause like, if you look at someone like even Ashley, she's so different the way she portrays herself Yeah. or even, even uh, Amanda Steele, like pre-baby. I uh, you know like, that's so what I'm sure. Even Kylie Jenner, like they've like, I'm like a there's, demeanor. There's so many people younger. I think it's just a lot of personality. You stuff. know what I think it is? Yes. Personality and, and expressiveness. Yes. Like we're very like la, 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 all over the top. And they're very like, Hey guys, so today I went to the farmer's market and I got- Yes, like we've never been squish. those girlies and maybe we never will be those I, girlies. I, I threw that idea away a long time ago. I'll never be the quote unquote, that girl. I think it would be so much weirder if we just overnight decided to like wear heels everywhere and be like- <laughs> you know Can you do your best Ashley impression? In what way? Like, oh my God. Well, we, we were in Tokyo and Ashley kept being like, let's go- to, I really want to see like go to an authentic like tea experience thing and Yuka was like okay okay uh well, well I don't really know where we could go she's like well maybe this place she's like but it's not really like like that pretty I guess it's kind of just like what I, and Ashley's like no, no no it's fine and then me and Yuka would look at each other and I'm like no she wants <laughs> <laughs> and, I was like, and for audio listeners one go watch YouTube it's way better yeah. two I'm just it, pinky's out very slow drinking a, a hot cup of tea setting it very down looking out the window yes. with her hand on her neck like <laughs> I think truly I think truly people would be scared for us I think that if they if we started doing that randomly they'd be like are they okay we'd be like AI robots that like got wiped should we pretend we're that right now okay Wait, I love this. Oh, and also like not to make fun of any of these. No, girlies. I'm so jealous. I was just going to say like, it's who I never will be. No, it's because we're literally like, I, I want to be them. Okay. Let's imagine the quote unquote, that girl on TikTok, like the girls who like shower five times a day and smell good no, all no, the no. time. It's the girls who have eucalyptus in their shower. Yes. you am calling you out. A you Lily Ashley has it. Ashley. Oh, and TK. Um, yeah. Candles burning, like only like Le Labo. They have like the, the slicked buns with the hoops and they like love Pinterest. Is that like the thing they go on their hot girl walks? Ready? Yeah. Legs crossed edge of the couch, obviously. Oh, I don't want to do it. I'm too lazy. Yeah, wait, that's so good. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to Pretty Basic. I'm I'm your co-host, Alicia Marie. And I'm Remy Cruz. And today we are going to talk about um what we got up to yesterday. I I feel, I feel like this is so mean. I don't mean to be mean. No, it's funny because I like I, I can do it because it's my sister. I, I was gonna no, say, no, but like it's just it's. <laughs> You're way better at it than I am. 
<laughs> I like how you keep pressing out my lips. It doesn't mean, I mean, it does not mean they have lip filler. It's just, my point being is we are just not like that, which I think is, it was a hard pill to swallow when I was like, I just want to be hot. You know what I mean? You know, like who I would love to be, but will never be. Who? And this is the perfect person. Me sitting here in this bright ass <laughs> pink sundress, Mariana Hewitt would not get, would not be caught dead in this look. No, she, she, mm, the shoes. Yeah, no, the, I can't no, the whole her, the whole thing. Yeah. She'd be wearing, which she literally came on, like a gorgeous, beautiful, nude designer dress with like a Chanel purse, like seated, like seated uh, here, and no, just, just like exuding elegance. But that's how they look twenty four seven. And I know this because again, I travel with my sister, and everything down to her PJs are aesthetic. Yeah. And match her whole look. And I wear, literally last night, I wore our big Columbus <laughs> Ohio t-shirt with, with red Christmas shorts. <laughs> Wait, you know what I wore last night? What? I tried to be like sexy, so I wore one of those little lace nighties. Alicia, I woke up with both my tits fully hanging out. Like, like it had shifted in the night sideways <laughs> and was all falling. I woke up and I looked in the mirror. Both boobs were swallowing the lace top and the tits were just fully like hanging at my ankle. You know when you have those boobs <laughs> and tank tops in your boobs just out of this? No, the way they were both slung over. <laughs> I think I loved it. <laughs> That's not sexy. <laughs> oh I prefer God. to say we will never be those girls. No, I've tried. I've bought cute PJs, but I'm like, I want my comfy one. <laughs> Would you have a Christmas <laughs> No, short. they're literally like the red plaid uh, like Christmas from Victoria's Secret ones. I'll often wear my big go pack go shirt. <laughs> like imagine <laughs> Ashley in a in a Packers t shirt. <laughs> Oh my god. So sometimes I'm like, you know what? It's okay. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Don't fit the mold. <laughs> no need to fit the Wait, mold. At what point in your relationship with Cal? Like, did you always wear like big t shirts? Or like were you like from uh you know, where you like, oh I need to wear all like my best stuff? Um, what point did you feel comfortable to start being you? Probably when we <laughs> moved in together. But I can't remember exactly. Imagine he's like, this is not what I thought. <laughs> I like, I mean, I don't think we like wore. You probably wear his pajamas. Stuff now. Have I ever told the story about Cal wearing the pink polo? I bring it up all the time with no. him, and he's always like, Remy. I remember. <laughs> it's like not that funny because he had to be there, but we first just started talking, and he was telling me that he like bought this pink polo from Goodwill or something that he like really liked. And I was like, oh my God, it's so cute. Like, you should wear it. Like, I was being like funny and like. Like, oh, you should like wear it. So like it'd be you really it, huh? it'd be like really hot if you wore your like flamingo pink polo. And he was like, Oh yeah, like would you like that? I was like, Yeah. <laughs> and then you know remember remember at my apartment complex I had to go down to grab people yes. from the third floor. But then like it was a long walk and it was just glass yes. windows. I remember he's like, I'm here and I like walk down to go like turn the corner. He's standing there behind the glass in the pink <laughs> polo. <laughs> And then I had like a like a twenty foot walk just through the glass, like trying to not <laughs> cry laughing. I bet and he looked great. He looked so cute, <laughs> and I bring it up all the time because like he was always like, "You make fun of me." I was like, "No, it's just like it was adorable that you like took it seriously." No, what it is is you just picture him planning to get dressed. No, and it's being so like, oh, cute. I'm wear, yeah. That's so cute. No, you're not making fun of him. I love it so much. Oh. Well, anything else going on in your life? <laughs> Honestly, at this rate, like what else? What, what embarrassing other shit? Do like, this do? Is random ass episode. Hold on, hold on. Let me think. Let me think. Let me think. I feel like I have so many good things. What else in your brain right now? What's in my brain? Yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of other things that <laughs> that make us not that girls that we do. How to? We're fucking messy. How, how to not be that girl? How to not be that girl? How to not be that girl? Um, I mean. <laughs> You leave trash everywhere. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I make piles. <laughs> I 
Ashley would Mariana Hewitt would never. Mariana Hewitt would never. If I'm cleaning, I make piles of like, okay, this is actual trash. Or if we're in a hotel, I'll put all of the trash in a pile on the floor. But it's together. It's to get in my head. That's the trash pile. And I will put it away. We're going to expose our dirty secrets here. What are other things that I do? I mean, with my red hair, I've only been washing it like once a week. That's okay. I know. It's the dye. Yeah, you can't. I did wash it yesterday. What are gross things that I do? (sighs) (laughs) Can you believe like... For so long, people watched our stuff for to get like tips. (laughs) (laughs) What time are we at? This is a fucking train wreck. An hour and fifteen. Let's fucking end it. No, this is funny. It was funny as fuck. (laughs) (laughs) What? What? (laughs) I was going to say, what's like the worst? life hacker tip that you've said publicly oh i told you my my chandelier oh, that ripped DIY. my ceiling oh like, we're, like what's like what's like a tip that you would say publicly that now you look back on and you're like oh honey. oh that's such a good one or like a life hack <laughs> i don't know how about you do you have any that come to mind i mean i just think more <laughs> oh my god my brother brought up the pumpkin spice <laughs> The what? The pumpkin spice video. What was the pumpkin spice video? Me and the orange wig. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, I miss when you do stuff like that. You know, I actually watched one of your roommate wars the other day. I was watching it and it had 44 million views. And Cal was like, holy shit, that's like like a huge music video amount of views. Vivo. <laughs> no, literally. I, I, should, I should add Vivo at the end of all the Oh, titles. wait, I was watching it with Ollie and it was the one where you guys had the jello in the mason jar yes. and you give it to Ash and she's like, it's like, bounced, 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 bounced. And Ollie watched it and he was like, give her the Oscar. <laughs> <laughs> Oscar award winning. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yesterday I did my solo here and I was sobbing for different reasons. Um, these are happy tears. So that's amazing. Yay. Well, s- I feel like we didn't really catch up no, at no, all. No, I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sleep at all that day. Oh, that's right. <laughs> you know what? That's okay. We did our best and that's all we can ask for. Oh my God. Yeah. Do you feel okay? <laughs> yeah. Oh, why don't you end the episode and put us out of our misery? I don't know. I'm crying. <laughs> On that note, you guys, we're going to end the episode. Please say your prayers that Alicia gets a full night of sleep tonight. And we'll catch you guys in the next episode. Love you. Bye. <laughs> what the fuck does that mean?